Here's a question that would change how you think about belly fat forever. Why do some men over 40 eat pizza and stay lean while others gain weight just looking at carbs? The answer isn't just genetics or luck. It's largely about insulin sensitivity and metabolic changes. I'm Adrian. I've been a family physician for 17 plus years and I help people feel and perform better and live longer using simple science-backed habits that fit into busy lives. As you hit your 40s, research shows muscle mass typically begins to shrink then accelerates into approximately 1-2% to per year loss after 50. Your pancreas can start pumping out more insulin to compensate for reduced muscle glucose uptake. And this excess insulin can become a powerful fat storage signal that tends to drive visceral fat accumulation. This metabolic shift happens to most men and helps explain why strategies that worked in your 20s may be less effective now. What do most men do when belly fat creeps in? They hit the gym and start cranking out crunches, believing that they can target that stubborn fat directly. You've done 10,000 crunches this year, but your belly fat hasn't budged. Sound familiar? Most men over 40 believe that they can crunch their way to a flat stomach. This feels logical. The muscles under the fat and the fat disappears. But decades of research tell us otherwise. Traditional spot reduction has been largely debunked. Your body doesn't choose fat like ordering from a menu. It pulls energy from throughout your body based on hormonal signals and genetic factors. When you exercise, hormones travel throughout the bloodstream and signal fat cells everywhere to release stored energy. Your body decides where to pull fat from based on genetics, hormone levels and blood flow patterns. Factors you can't directly control with targeted exercises. That burning sensation in your abs is muscle fatigue, not fat loss. The burn feels intense, tricking your brain into thinking that something important is happening to the fat above those muscles. But muscle fatigue and fat loss are separate processes. Researchers studied people who performed abdominal exercises for six weeks straight, thousands of crunches and sit-ups. When they measured belly fat before and after, they found minimal difference compared to people who didn't exercise at all. The exercise group built stronger abs underneath their fat, but the fat layer remained largely unchanged. Your belly fat responds primarily to internal chemical signals, not external physical pressure. These signals come from hormones, stress levels, sleep quality, and metabolic health, factors that traditional ab exercises don't directly address. And if you're finding this helpful, I break things like this down in a free newsletter for people who want to feel better, live longer, and cut through the health noise. No fluff, just real practical stuff that works. Sign up below. So significant hormonal changes create your body's shifting fat storage system that typically activates after 40. Research shows testosterone drops by approximately 1.6% every year starting in your 30s, and free testosterone can decline even faster at up to 3% per year. By age 40, you've likely lost around 10 to 15% of your free testosterone. Simultaneously, daily stress often sends cortisol levels higher than optimal. Testosterone acts like your body's muscle-building, fat-burning regulator. It signals muscles to grow and can influence fat cell development. Research indicates that testosterone helps prevent precursor cells from turning into mature fat cells. When testosterone levels decline, your body may lose some natural ability to maintain lean mass. Large population studies show a general pattern. As testosterone drops, body fat percentage tends to climb. But here's the complexity. Lower testosterone can promote fat gain, but that extra fat fights back. Your fat tissue produces an enzyme called aromatase that converts remaining testosterone into estrogen. The more fat you carry, the more testosterone you may lose through this conversion, a cycle that can feed on itself. Now add cortisol. This stress hormone has specific affinity for your belly area. Research shows visceral fat cells around your organs contain more cortisol receptors than fat cells elsewhere. This means cortisol may preferentially direct fat storage to your midsection. Studies indicate belly fat tissue can even enhance local stress hormone effects, potentially creating a localised fat storage environment. This creates a self-reinforcing cycle that may be challenging to break without the right approach. Men receiving medically supervised testosterone replacement therapy often lose weight almost exclusively from fat stores. Cortisol and testosterone don't work independently. High cortisol can suppress testosterone production, while low testosterone may increase cortisol sensitivity. 
Muscle loss typically begins in your 40s and often accelerates after 50, stealing roughly 1-2% to of mass annually. This process, known as sarcopenia, can affect your metabolism one pound at a time. You're losing your body's primary glucose management system. Think of muscles as large sponges that absorb sugar from your bloodstream. Research shows muscle fibres handle about 80% of the carbohydrates you eat. When you're younger, this system typically works more efficiently. But when that sponge starts shrinking, those powerful type 2 muscle fibres, the large metabolically active fibres that burn the most calories, tend to be affected first in many people. And as they decline, glucose has fewer places to go after meals. Your pancreas notices this problem and may respond by increasing insulin output. With reduced muscle mass, your body often floods the system with insulin to manage blood sugar, and chronically elevated insulin can promote belly fat storage. This creates hyperinsulinemia, too much insulin in your blood. Insulin isn't just a blood sugar regulator, it's also a powerful fat storage hormone that can specifically target your belly area. You can end up in a self-reinforcing cycle. Less muscle often means your metabolism drops because muscle tissue burns calories at rest. Lower metabolism can mean easier fat gain. Higher insulin levels from poor glucose handling may lock fat in place. An extra belly fat releases inflammatory chemicals that can break down more muscle tissue. This isn't three separate problems. It's one interconnected system that can spiral unfavorably. Research confirms men with both muscle loss and excess fat often show much worse metabolic markers than men with just excess fat alone. The combination can create particularly challenging conditions for stubborn belly fat. Your belly fat isn't a character flaw. It's often a predictable biological response to measurable changes in your body. The declining testosterone, rising cortisol, muscle loss, and insulin resistance we've discussed can create favorable conditions for fat storage. You're not lazy. Your body is following biological programming that serves survival purposes but doesn't always match modern life. Effective approaches typically address these root causes systematically. Research supported strategies often include targeted nutrition to help rebalance hormones, specific training protocols to rebuild lost muscle mass, improved sleep hygiene to manage cortisol, and stress management techniques to support healthy testosterone production. You're not battling yourself, you're working with your biology using evidence based strategies one habit at a time. Understanding these mechanisms helps you fight the right battle with the right tools. If this video has been helpful, you'll want to watch this one next. It's picked to help you learn more. Click it now and I'll see you there. And thanks for watching.